Encore Bad Song! This song is amazing, and since our most popular videos are our bath bomb videos and our popsicle stick bracelet videos, we decided why not do bath salt too? And if you're new to our channel, hi, I'm Riley, I'm 12 and I love horseback riding. I'm Reese, I'm 10 and I love horseback riding. <laughs> because we notice you guys comment on our videos all the time. And we appreciate it. Now on to the video. video. And the things you'll be needing for this craft are Epsom salt, plant-based food coloring. We got ours at Whole Foods. We a small or a big jar. We got ours at Hobby Lobby for a dollar. Make the unicorn horn and ears. You'll need air dry clay. Sparkle Mod Podge. You'll also need some sticker eyelashes and a hot glue gun. Reese and I are going to be showing you how to make this jar and I'm going to be showing you how to make the small jar. You've already seen how this one looks, so this is what it will look like when the big jar is finished. But it'll have bath salt. Both of them are virtually the same. It's just the size of the jar that makes them look different. First step is to put Epsom salt into your bowl. It really doesn't matter how much you put in your bowl. It's just really how much you want to make. To make our unicorn bath salt, we're each going to make a color. Reese is going to make pink, I'm going to make purple, and Grace is going to make blue. And we're also just going to have a side white bowl, and we're all going to share the colors together. Only start with a little bit. Now that we've got all our colors, we're going to start layering them in our jars. So let's go. So to make my unicorn horn, I have to roll out the air dry clay and then I'm going to roll it up and shape it to a unicorn and then dip it in Sparkle Mod Podge. To make the ears, you make it like a little triangle. Now we're going to dip our ears and horn into the Sparkle Mod Podge. So when it dries, it's going to be all sparkly. Once it's dry, we're going to hot glue our ears and our horn to the jar. So, the last step is all we have to do is glue on the ears and the horn to the top of the jar. If you're using a cork top, take the cork off and put the hot glue on the bottom of the unicorn horn. And then make sure you really press down hard on this one. You want to make sure that your horns and ears stick right on to that cork. All right guys, so we finished our drawers and they look so cute. I'm in love with them. I mean, look how cute they are. You can't resist them. And this is the final result. Thanks for watching, bye. Yeah. Okay, just say it. Uh, but seriously, <laughs> I'm Riley and I'm 12. I'm Grace and I'm 10. And I'm Grace, I'm 8, and I actually love horseback riding the most. <laughs> no, you don't. I guess that's why I have my horseback riding helmet before those two. I guess that's why I love horseback Once it dries, we're going to put the horn and the ears right onto the jaw. Riley! 